द लिविंग वर्ड हाउ पंडरफुल इज द लिविंग वर्ड द वाइड रेंज ऑफ लिविंग टाइप इज अमेजिंग द एक्स्ट्रॉडनरी हैबिटेट्स इन विच वी फाइंड लिविंग ऑर्गेनाइज बी इट काउल कोल्ड माउंटेन्स डेसीडियस फॉरेस्ट ऑशियन फ्रेश वाटर लेक्स डेजर्ट और हॉट स्प्रिंग लिपस स्पीचलेस द ब्यूटी ऑफ कैलोपियन हॉर्स ऑफ द माइग्रेटिंग वर्ड्स द वेले ऑफ फ्लावर और द अटैकिंग शार्क इवॉक ऑ एंड अ डीप सेंस ऑफ वर्डर द इकोलॉजिकल कंफ्लिक्ट and cooperation among members of population and among population of community or even the molecular traffic inside a cell make us deeply reflect on what indeed is life this question has two implicit question within it the first is technical one and seek answer to what living is as opposed to the non living and the second is philosophical one and seek answer to what is the purpose of life is as scientists we shall not attempt answering the second question we will try to reflect on what is living 1.1 what is living when we try to define living we conventionally look for distinctive characteristics exhibited by living organism growth reproduction ability to sense environment and mount a suitable response come to our mind immediately as unique features of living organism one can add a more features like metabolism ability to sense self replicate self organized interact and emer- emergence to the list let us try to understand each of these all living organisms grow increase in mass and increase in number of individuals are twin characteristic of growth a multicellular organism grow by cell division in plant the growth by cell division occurs continuously throughout their life span in animal this growth is seen only up to a certain age however cell division occurs in certain tissue to replace lost cells unicellular organisms grow by cell division one can easily observe this in in vitro cultures by simply counting the number of cell under the microscope in majority of higher animal and plants growth and reproduction are mutually exclusive event one must remember that increase in body mass is considered as growth non living object also grow if we take increase in body mass as a criteria of growth mountains boulders and sand mount to grow however this kind of growth exhibited by non living object is by accumulation of material on the surface in living organism growth is from inside growth therefore cannot be taken as a defining property of living or- organism conditions under which it can be observed in all living organisms have to be explained and then we understand that it is a characteristic of living organism a dead organism does not grow reproduction likewise is a characteristic of living organism in multicellular organisms reproduction refer to the production of progeny processing features more or less similar to those of parents in variably and implicitly we refer to sexual reproduction organisms reproduce by asexual means also fungi multiply at a speed easily due to the million of asexual spore they produce in lower organisms like yeast and hydra we observe budding in planaria platform we observe two regeneration that is a fragmented organism regenerate the lost part of its body and become a new organism the fungi filamentous algae the protonema of mosses all easily multiply by fragmentation when it come to unicellular organisms like bacteria unicellular algae or amoeba reproduction is synonymous with growth that is increase in number of cells we have already defined growth as equivalent to increase in cell number or mass hence we noticed that is single cell organism we are not very clear about the uses of these two terms growth and reproduction further there are many organisms which do not reproduce mules sterile worker bee infertile human couples etc hence human reproduction also cannot be an all inclusive defining characteristics of living organism of course no non living or object is capable of reproduction or replicating by itself another characteristic of life is metabolism all living organisms are made of chemicals these chemicals small and big belonging to various classes size functions etc are concerned 
constantly being made and changed into some other biomolecules these conversions are chemical reactions or metabolic reactions there are thousand of metabolic reactions occurring simultaneously inside all living organism b the unicellular or multicellular all plants animal fungi and microbes exhibit metabolism the sum total of all chemical reactions occurring in our body is metabolism no non living object exhibit metabolism metabolic reaction can be demonstrated outside the body in cell free system an isolated metabolic reaction outside the body of an organism performed in a test tube is neither living nor non living hence while metabolism is a defining feature of all living organism without exception isolated metabolic reaction in vitro are not living things but surely living reaction hence cellular organization of the body is defining feature of life forms perhaps the most obvious and technically complicated feature of all living organisms is this ability to sense their surrounding or environment and respond to these environmental stimuli which could be physical chemical or biological we sense our environment through our sense organs plant respond to external factor like light water temperature organisms pollutants etc all organisms from the prokaryotes to the most complex eukaryotes can sense and respond to environmental cue photophilic effect reproduction in seasonal breeder both plant and animal all organisms handle chemical entering their bodies all organisms therefore are aware of their surrounding human being is the only organism who is aware of himself that is has a self consciousness consciousness therefore become the defining property of living organism when it come to human being it is all the more difficult to define the living state we observe patients laying in coma in hospital virtually supported by machines which replace heart and lungs the patient is otherwise been dead the patient has no self consciousness as such patient who never come back to normal life living or non living in high classes you will come to know that all living phenomena are due to underlying interaction properties of tissues are not present in constituent cell but arises as a result of interaction among the constituent cells similarly properties of cellular organelles are not present in molecular constituent of the organelle but arises as a result of interaction among the molecular component compressing the organelle these interaction result in emergent property that a higher level of organization this phenomena is true in the hierarchy of organizational complexity at all level therefore we can say that living organisms are self replicating evolving and self self regulating interactive system cap- capable of responding to external stimuli biology is the story of life on earth biology is the story of evolution of living organisms on earth all living organisms present past and future are linked to one another by the sharing of the common genetic material but to vary degrees 1.2 diversity in the living world if you look around you you will see a large variety of living organisms be it potted plant insect bird your pet and other animals and plant there are also several organisms that you cannot see with your naked eyes but they are all around you if you were to increase the area that you make observation in the range of variety and uh, of organism that you see would increase obviously if you were to visit a dense forest you would probably see a much greater number and kinds of living organism in it each different kind of plant animal or organism that you see represent a species the number of species that are known and described range between 1.7 to 1.8 million this refers to biodiversity or the number and type of organisms present on earth we should remember here that as we explore new areas and even old ones new organisms are continuously being identified 
as stated earlier that are millions of plants and animals in the world we know the plant and animal in our own area by their local names these local names would vary from place to place even within a country probably you would recognize the confusion that would be created if we did not find way and mean to talk to each other to refer the organism we are talking about has there is a need to strategize the naming of living organism such that a particular organism is known by same name all over the world this process is called nomenclature obviously nomenclature or naming is only possible when the organism is described correctly and we know to what organism the name is attached to the this is identification in order to facilitate the study number of scientists have stabilized procedure to assign a scientific name to each known organism this is acceptable to biologist all over the world for plant scientist name are based on agreed principle and criteria which are provided in international code for botanical nomenclature icbn you may ask how are animals named animal taxonomist have evolved international code of bot geological nomenclature iczn the scientific names and so that each organism has only one name description of any organism should enable the people in any part of the world to arrive at the same name they also ensure that such a name has not been used for any other known organism Biologists follow universally accepted principle to provide scientific name to known organism. Each name has two component: the generic name and a specific epithet. This system is providing a name with two component is called binomial nomenclature. This naming system given by Carlos Linnaeus is being practiced by biologists all over the world. This naming system using a true word for bed was found convenient. let us take the example of mango to understand the way of providing scientific name better the scientific name of mango is written as mangifera indica let us see how it is a binomial name in this name mangifera represent the genus while indica is a particular species or a specific epithet other universal rule of nomenclature are as follows number 1 biological name are generally in latin written in italic they are latinized or derived from latin irrespective of their origin number 2 the first word in biological name represent the genus while the second component denote the specific epithet number 3 both the word in biological name when hand written are separately underlined or printed in italic to indicate their latin origin number 4 the first word denoting the genus start with a capital name while the specific epithet start with a small letter it can be illustrated with the example of mangifera indica name of author appear after the specific epithet that is the at the end of the biological name and is written in an abbreviated form example mangifera indica lin it indicate that this species was first described by linnaeus since it is nearly impossible to study all the living organisms it is necessary to devise some means to make this possible this process is classification classification is the process by which anything is grouped into convenient category based on some easily observable characters for example we easily recognize groups such as plant or animal or dog cat insects this movement we use any of these term be associate certain character with the organism in that group what image do you see when you think of a dog obviously each one of us will see dog and not cats now if we were to think of alsatians we know what we are talking about similarly suppose we were to say mammals you would of course think of mammals with external ear or body hairs likewise in plants if we try to talk of wheat the picture in each of our mind will be of wheat plant not of rice 
or any other plants. Hence, all these dogs, cat, mammals, weed, rice, plant, animals, etc. are convenient category we use to study organisms. The scientific term for these categories is taxa. Here, you must recognize that taxa can indicate categories at very different level. Plant also form a taxa. Wheat is also a taxa. Similarly, animals, mammals, dogs are all taxa. But you know that a dog is a mammal and mammals are animal. Therefore, animals, mammals and dogs represent taxa at different levels. Hence, based on characteristics, all living organisms can be classified into different taxa. This process of classification is taxonomy. External and internal structure along with the structure of cell development process and ecological information of organisms are essential and form the basis of modern taxonomic studies. Hence, characterization, identification, classification, nomenclature are the processes that are basic of taxonomy. Taxonomy is not something new. Human beings have always been interested in knowing more and more about the various kind of organisms, particularly with reference to their own use. In early days, human beings needed to find sources for their basis need, basic needs of food, clothing, and shelters. Hence, the earliest classification were based on uses of various organisms. Human beings were since long not only interested in knowing more about different kind of organisms and their diversities but also the relationship among them. This branch of studies was referred to as systematic. The word systematics is derived from Latin word systema, which means systematic arrangement of organisms. Linnaeus used systema naturae as the title of his publication. The scope of systematic was later and thus in include identification, nomenclature, and classification. Systematic takes into account evolutionary relationship between organisms. 1.3 Taxonomic Categories classification is, classification is not a single step process but evolves hierarchy of a step in which each step represents a rank of category. Since the category is a part of Overall taxonomic arrangement is called the taxonomic categories and all categories together constitute the taxonomic hierarchy. Each category referred to as a unit of classification in fact represent a rank and is commonly termed as taxon. Taxonomic categories and hierarchy can be illustrated by an example. Insect represent a group of organisms sharing common feature like three pair of jointed legs it means insect are recognizable concrete object which can be classified and thus were given a rank or category can you name other such group of organic remember groups represent categories category for the denotes rank each rank or taxon in fact represents a unit of classification these taxonomic group categories are distinct biological entities and not merely morphological aggregates. Taxonomical studies of all known organisms have led to the development of common categories such as kingdom, phylum, division for plant, class, order, family, genus, and species. All organisms include those in the plant and animal kingdom have species as the lowest category. Now the question you may ask is how to place an organism in various categories. This basic requirement is the knowledge of characters of an individual or group of organisms. This help in identification similarities and dissimilarities among the individual of the same kind of organism as well as of other kind of organisms. 1.3.1 Species Taxonomic studies consider a group of individual organisms with fundamental similarities as a species. One should be able to distinguish one species from the other closely related species based on the distinct morphological differences. Let us consider Menziferae indica, Salmonum tuberosum, Potato, and Panthera leo lion. All the three names Indica, Tiberosum, and Leo represent the specific epithet. 
while the first word mensifera solenum panthera acendra and represent another higher level of taxon or category e genus may have one or more than one specific epithet representing different organisms but having morphological similarities for example panthera has another species specific epithet called tigris and solenum includes species like nigrum and melozena human being belong to the species sapiens which is grouped in the genus homo the scientific name thus the human being is written as homo sapiens genus genus comprises a group of related species which has more characters in common in comparison to species of other genera we can say that genera are aggregates of closely related species for example potato and brinjal are two different species but both belong to the genus solenum lion panthera leo leopard panthera pardus and tiger panthera tigris which with several common features are all species of the genus panthera this genus differs from another genus phalis which includes cats family the next category family has a group of related genera with still less number of similarities as compared to genus and species families are characterized on the basis of both vegetative and reproductive features of plant species among plants for example these different genera solenum petunia datura are placed in the family solanaceae among animal for example genus panthera comprising lion tiger leopard is put along with genus phallus cat in the family phallidae similarly if you observe the feature of a cat and a dog you will find some similarities and some differences as well they are separated into two different families phallidae and canidae respectively order you have seen earlier that categories like species genus and families are based on a number of similar characters generally order and other higher taxonomic categories are identified based on the aggregates of characters order being a higher category is a assemblage of families which exhibit a few similar characters the similar characters are less in number as compared to different genera include in families plant families like convolvulinaceae solanaceae are included in order polymonials mainly based on the floral characters the animal order carnivora include family like phallidae and canidae class this category includes related order for example order primata comprising monkey gorilla and gibbon is placed in the class of mammalia along with order carnivora that includes animal like tiger cat and dog class mammalia has other order also phylum classes comprising animal like fishes amphibians reptiles bird along with mammals constitute the next higher category called phylum all these based on the common feature like presence of notochords and dorsal hollow neural system are included in phylum chordata in case of plant classes with a few similar characters are assigned to a higher category called division kingdom all animal belonging to various phyla are assigned to the highest category called kingdom animalia in the classification system of animal the kingdom plantae on the other hand is distinct or com comprises all plant from various division hence for we will refer to these two groups as animal and plant kingdom the taxonomic categories from species to kingdom have been shown in ascending order starting with species in figure 1.1 these are broad categories however taxonomists have also developed sub categories in this hierarchy to facilitate more sound and specific placement of various taxa look at hierarchy in figure 1.1 can you recall the basis of arrangement 
say for example as we go higher from species to kingdom the number of common characteristics goes on decreasing lower the taxa more are the characteristics that the members with in the taxon share higher the category greater is the difficulty of determining the relationship to other taxa at the same level hence the problem of classification become more complex table 1.1 indicate the taxonomic categories to which some common organism like house fly man mango weed belongs table 1.1 Common name man, biological name Homo sapiens, genus Homo, family Homidae, order Primata, class Mammalia, phylum Chordata. Common name housefly, biological name Musca domestica, genus Musca, family Mysidae, order Diptera, class Insecta, phylum Arthropoda. Common name mango, biological name Manzifera indica, genus Manzifera, family Anacardiaceae, order Sapindals, class Dictyo. Dicotylindy, phylum, sorry, division, angiosperm. Common name, wheat. Biological name, triticum, astiva. Genus, triticum. Family, poesy. Order, poils. Class, monocot. Division, angiosperm. 1.4. Taxonomical aids. Taxonomic study of various species of plant, animal, and other organisms are useful in agriculture forestry, industry, and in general in knowing our bioresources and their diversity. These studies would require correct classification and identification of organisms. Identification of organisms require intensive laboratory and field studies. The collection of actual specimen of plant and animal species is essential and is the prime source of taxonomic studies. These are also fundamental to studies and essential for training in systematics. It is used for classification of an organism and the information gathered is also stored along with the specimen. In some cases, the specimen is preserved for future studies. Biologists have established certain procedure and technique to store and preserve the information as well as the specimen some of these are explained to help you understand that uses of these aids 4.1 herbarium herbarium is a storehouse of collected plant specimen that are dried preserved and preserved on seed further these seeds are arranged According to a universally accepted system of classification, these specimens, along with their description on herbarium seed, become a storehouse or repository of future use. The herbarium seeds also carry a label providing information about date and place of collection, English, local and botanical names, family, collector name, etc. Herbaria also serve as quick referral system in taxonomical studies. Botanical garden. These specialized garden have collection of living plant for reference. Plant species in these garden are grown for identification purpose and each plant is labeled indicating its botanical scientific name and its family. The famous botanical garden are at Kiev. England, Indian Botanical Garden, Havla, India, and at National Botanical Research Institute, Lucknow, India. 4.3 Museum Biological museums are generally set up in educational institutes such as school and colleges. Museums have collections of preserved plant and animal specimens for study and reference. Specimens are preserved in the container or jar in preservating solution. Plant and animal specimen may also be preserved as dry specimens. Insects are preserved in insect boxes after collecting, killing, pinning. Larger animals like bird and mammals are usually stuffed and preserved. 
museums of one have collections of skeletons of animals too. 4.4 Zoological Park These are places where wild animals are kept in protected environments under human care and which enable us to learn about their food habitats and behavior. All animals in a zoo are provided as far as possible the conditions similar to their natural habitats. Children love visiting these parks commonly called zoos. 1.4.5 Key Key is another taxonomical aid used for identification of plant and animal based on the similarities and dissimilarities. The key are based on the contrasting characters generally in a pair called couplet. It represents the choice made between two opposite options. These result in Acceptance of only one and rejection of other. Each statement in key is called a lead. Separate taxonomic key are required for each taxonomic category such as family, genus and species for identification purpose. Keys are generally analytical in nature. Flora, manuals, monographs and catalog are some other means of recording description. They also help in correct identification. Flora contain an actual account of habitat and distribution of plant of a given area. These provide the index to the plant specimen found in a particular area. Manuals are used in providing information for identification of names of species found in an area. Monographs contain information of any one taxon. Thank you.